Ty Jones goes strong. Oh, and boy, what a rebound by young Mr. Wilson. Small in stature, but big in size that time. Van Sickle will put up a three, and it's good. Demetrius oh, oh, oh. Van Sickle, the All-State candidate, takes the Bearcats to the biggest lead on the night. The Bearcats on the steal. Off the dogged, and he gets to Virgil baseline. Off the glass, Van Sickle yes. up high. Yes, yes. yes. by Van Sickle. Van Sickle's knees in his mouth in excitement. A 12-point lead. Now we look at Major, the coach. He looks at Jones, taking it all the way. And that's no good. Yeah, it's good. It falls in. Gibson laying back. Could have been called. They let it go that time. 40 to 34, 19 to go. This game is starting to open up. Anybody's ball game. Doggett now playing the game of his life and playing under control. Bearcats playing in tight. Now oh, it's a forces one in. It's stolen away. Stolen away by Tyrone Davis. They're playing out in front big. Over to Banks. Banks now looking for some help. He gets it. Washington. Back out to the top to Parnell Lanier. Lanier trying to put some spark air back into this ball game. There's a shot up and it is good. That's a big three. That's by Tyrone Davis, a big six foot sore senior. Doggett now down the floor, back within seven. This is a big basket right here. Van Sickle. Oh, what it down. a play. Oh, there's a foul. Three point. A three oh, point it's the biggest Virgil. Demetrius Virgil turns around to Ron Banks, the young sophomore, and says, how do you do? My name is Demetrius Virgil, What as he a, lays in two. What a backdoor pass. Great look, great basket. Now, that's play number one, you guys. That's what they called. Jerry, I think one of the keys, too, in this game, we cannot be remiss in singing the praises of Eric Doggett. Right. He is taking the pressure, and he is handling it, and he's making the right pass at the right time. Of course, he's getting it to Van Sickle, where he can work the ball around where they're shooting or passing, and I think Doggett's a key. And he's loving it, and so is Demetrius Virgil. Mr. Smooth, Mr. Smooth. Okay, the Bearcats now trying to answer. Oh, here's Banks, the young sophomore. Another All-State candidate. That's stole away. Now here comes Demetrius Virgil. He'll put up a 15-footer. Let's go! And Virgil was in his own. 45 to 33. As we look at Mike Major. They're yes. out. They're yes. looking yes. at this crowd. They're on their feet. Oh, and look at the appreciation. Everywhere you look. Front, back, center. All around us. Jerry, oh, you can feel the Jerry, electricity. This place is going wild right now. They've got a good reason to be. The Bearcats are playing superbly. Team ball, Jerry. They're causing turnovers. They're scoring off them. What an effort by Central right now. What a tremendous ball game. Jimmy Hughes. Well, I'll tell you, Jerry, I don't think I've seen Battle Creek Central stay at a sustained intensity for a long stretch like this the whole season, Jerry. They are really playing tremendous defense and not letting up at all. And when they get the open shot, they are taking their time, relaxed, and burying it. And that backdoor play, I think, really was the key. They had had a comeback of sorts in a short manner by Sexton, and they answered with a backdoor cut. A beautiful play call from the bench by Chuck Turner and executed beautifully by Doggett to Van Sickle to Virgil, who went up strong, took the foul, and went to the line and sank the three-point play. What an answer to a comeback by Sexton. Well, guys, this is a big one. Big ball game. <laughs> oh, God, this is, this is fun. I'll tell you, from the 12th game on, there's been three overtimes by this Sexton Ball Club. Their last six games, they won by 12, 17, overtime, 12, 9, and 12. So they haven't blown anybody out in the last six ball games. But tonight, the Bearcats wanting to do that with a 12-point lead. Let's see what Sexton can do. Probably haven't trailed all year long like this, guys. Kane back into the ball game now for Sexton. Big Reds now fighting to come back. Big turnover. Dog it very quickly. Oh, wait a minute here. That's going to be on Sexton, I believe. Now let's take a look at the team foul situation. Team fouls, that's a sixth team foul. Is that the sixth? Or is that the fifth? The fifth team foul. Five team fouls. Okay, Doggett on inbound. Bearcats with a big turnover, big break. Get it out to Doggett. He's double teamed. Oh, He'll get it down with his quickness. Oh, does a hey, little circle. Hey, Jerry, he's Back breaking the press. That, uh, uh, Jimmy Hughes mentioned it big time. Yeah, he's, he's been the big superbly. answer tonight. Wilson now out to Van Sickle. Little turnaround, puts one up. No! Down and under. Going away. Should have taken the shot, Johnny. 
When you shoot that percentage, you got to take that shot. Unless you're wide open. Well, you know, he's a very unselfish player, Jerry. Yes, but I'll he tell is. you what, he's got to shoot that basketball at that point. Oh, there's one there. Oh, what a block. Anthony Wilson. Up extremely high blocks Tyrone Davis's shot. Van Sickle behind the legs. Up softly. No, won't go. Big board. Comes down strong Tyrone Davis. Oh. They'll get it down to Banks. Ron Banks. He'll take it all the way. Oh, oh yeah. dug it. Oh, boy. What a play. But a big play coming up behind. Good follow up and in. Oh, boy. Man, a Faman Washington. This is unbelievable. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Doggett is playing an extremely good ball. Oh, almost had one stolen away there. Got to watch the play. Got to watch the play. Don't get too fancy here. Demetrius Virgin now comes out. Tucker, remember, sitting on the bench. He got three fouls. Wilson, Anthony Wilson, these kids can play. Oh, nice pass. Gibson puts one up. Good! <laughs> A big six foot nine center. Now, Dewan King coming in. Chuck Turner staying within himself. Not watching the game. He's coaching this ball game. Down the floor. Kane wants to know. No three. 12 point lead for the Bearcats. Under a minute and a half to go. We're in the third quarter. Excitement here at the Kellogg Arena and the Regionals. Shot up by Banks, and it is three. Big bucket. Find out how many old Mr. Banks has right now, Johnny. 19 points now. That's his first hoop in the second half. Uh, how many was it? 19 total. Okay, that's a foul on Antoine Jones. That is the 16 foul. foul All right, that's Banks' third. That's uh, a yeah. good omen for these Bearcats. Keep going after him. Jerry, now, Jerry, Chuck Turner's doing a very wise thing here. 106 left in the third. He's going to give some of his uh, big boys inside a breather here before the fourth quarter starts. Once that starts, you guys, you may not see these guys come out of the ballgame until it's over with. Let's see if Norris Lindsay now is still playing strong. He's got it. Oh, he could have put it up. Out to Van Sickle, back to Lindsay. No, they're going to let Lindsay shoot from out. Smart playing. Dewan Keene now into the ball game. He has it right now. Comes out. Tucker back in, too. Back out now to Jones. It's a Tucker. Nine-point lead. Tucker puts one off. It goes in and out. Jones fighting for it. Banks. Dewan Keene almost steals it away. It's out to Kane. Kane gets it out to Jones. Now across Davis. Shot up. Big skies that high over the rim. Bearcats, Jones comes down strong out to Dewan Keene. 30 seconds to go, and we'll end this third quarter. And if the Bearcats still on top by Big Virgil, and it won't go. Jones high in the air. Oh, it comes down now to Tucker. Dewan Keene, 20 seconds. Coach Chuck Turner saying, watch the clock. <laughs> Lay it down. 15 seconds, 15 seconds, and three quarters. The Bearcats are leading the way. Dewan Keene underneath. Off yes. the glass. Oh, Corey. What a tremendous play, Norris Lindsay. 49 to 38. That'll end it. Three quarters. This crowd, everybody within the Battle Creek area that could get a ticket at this one tonight. The Bear gets on top, 49 to 38. Let's get over here to Johnny Bauer. I'll tell you why, Jerry. If uh, Lansing Sexton is number one in the state, I think I'm I think I'm looking at the number one. Uh, uh, team in the state right now, and they're wearing dark blue and gold. Battle Creek Central is playing a dynamite game here, coached superbly by Chuck Turner. These guys got one quarter to go, Jerry. One quarter, and we'll be back here on Friday night for the championship. Jimmy Hughes just trying to get some stats together. We'll get over to Jimmy, but what excitement here tonight. Look at the officials. They love this ball game, too. They come out of here, they get paid, John, but they love doing a game like this. We love broadcasting these games. I just, this is the, the most exciting game that I've seen this year, Jerry. And you know, oh. in a regional semifinal, too, you couldn't ask for a, a better matchup. And the Bearcats, after a cold first quarter, this is how it happened. 12 to 10, the number one team in the state was on top. 31 24, Bearcats at half, and now 49 to 38. But remember, John, this is the number one team in the state. The number one team. They've lost one ball game to a Grand Rapids ball, Ottawa Hills who at that time was rated number one. Well, I'll tell you what, that number one ranking is very debatable in my eyes, Jerry. Like I said, the blue and gold look pretty number one to me right now. The big red machine scored 14 points in that quarter. And the Bearcats, 17 points, 49 to 38. 
Now Kane has it. Sexton will start it off. Back out to the top. Shot up from three-point range. That's good. Well, that's one way to get back into it, John. Washington puts one in. Now this is Keene, and it's going to be a trap. And that's going to go alternate possessions, yes. and that'll go to the Bearcats. My goodness. Now that looked like three yards in a cloud of broken bones, Jerry. I can't believe a foul was not called on that play. Well, they're going to get Dogger back in here right now. They're going to oh. have someone to handle that ball. Out comes Anthony Wilson. Anthony Wilson just got leveled on that. Boy, he sure did. He's going to sit down. He'll get a nice hand. He does. Now, now Johnny, we're going to see some three-point shot. They've been reluctant to do that tonight. They haven't had to very much. Now oh, Virgil put is. up from the three throw line. Yeah. Oh, what a shot. Van Sickle, nobody bringing it in. 51 what a pass, to 41. Jerry. A half a minute gone here in the fourth. Tremendous play. Down the floor, Pruitt. Pruitt now whips it off to Kane. Looking for some help. And they're going to call this. And that's going to be against the big red machine. Not sure what happened on that, I, I John. I think it was a three second call. Traveling, traveling. A little traveling, Sexton. according to Jimmy Hughes. Now inside the Doggett. Doggett played a superb ball game tonight. Oh, is he handling that ball nice? Oh, he's, he's got a mission. Look, look at his face, Jerry. He's I mean, just he is a so junior. serious. Just a junior, too. Uh oh, five seconds. Now, that's what we talked about. You know, you got to do not so much of that. Well, Get he, rid of that ball. Yeah. That's a turnover, crucial turnover. He's got he's to keep past, his head. He's got to penetrate at least past that five second line, Jerry. Exactly right. Oh, what a play. Oh, Van Sickle. Oh, Van Sickle. Right. With a smart move, he intercepts, whips it off his legs. Oh, remind me of my days, John. Did I ever a, tell you about the he's time? He's a superb basketball player, Jerry. Van okay, Sickle Banks, is. there's a superb player right there. There's Mr. Kane. Back to Banks, trying to get it down across the half court. They do finally. Let's see what they can set up. Now Banks, will he take control? Out to Kane, back to Banks. He lays one in off the glass. No, off the front of the rim. Comes down to Jones. Look for some help. Tucker, no, over to Virgil. Back to Doggett. 6.40 to go. 51 to 41. Bearcats like to just keep it going. Get Score a couple of points about every minute. Oh! Inside, Van Sickle. Yes. Oh! Why did he go? Well, I'll tell you right there, John. <laughs> you know, yeah, you it. lay that off the glass, man. You lay uh, that off the glass. Yeah, he thought he had it, though, I'll tell you. Thought he had it. Man, I'll tell you, would have really sent some excitement here. Jerry, I think you go strong like that. I think that was a good move by Van Sickle. You're trying to send a message, not just get two points. And he went in, and he's taken no prisoners. He got fouled. He's got two shots. He could have laid that too hard off the window, too. I think you go in strong. Well, I'll tell you what. If he makes this other free throw, I'll agree with you. But they both count as two points, guys. Are you talking to me? <laughs> Barely. No. <laughs> Come on, Demetrius. 52 to 41. John, really, I want to thank you for inviting me out to dinner tonight. Oh, no problem. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, next time bring your wallet. Didn't cost you a cent, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kane, down the floor. There's Banks. He likes to take it. There's a three-point shot. It is in and out. No good. Virgil, 6.13 to go. Target now down the floor. He's being picked up by Kane, out to Tucker. There's a guy that's played a great ball game tonight. Mr. Jones stole it away on a pass. That's Banks, he'll take it all the way. And up off the glass, they'll call it on Doggett. And Major's calling an attention foul. If he can get it, he won't. A good play by Doggett. Absolutely. All right. No point scored there. Good, yeah. good play by Doggett. When I was going down on the break like that as a little man, I always went in and cut in front of the man trying to swipe that ball before he got in the air. That was a great play by Doggett, and it did take the concentration away so that he couldn't make that basket. So that's a great play. He's got to earn him at the stripe now. One other thing that you might have noticed, might not have, Lansing Sexton's gone out of their man-to-man. -man. They're going into a half-court 1-3-1 one, one zone, and when the guard, which is Doggett, gets to the top of the key, they're running a second man at him. So far, Dog has handled the pressure. Let's look to see if they have any turnovers caused from that new defense later in the contest. Good coaching, too. You're right, Jimmy. Good pickup. Now, on the second free throw, that's good by Banks. He's got to be in his 20s now. 
Doggett now down the floor. 21 points, Jimmy Hughes said. Now Doggett looking for some help. And he does, gets out to Anthony Look Wilson. Gibson. Underneath Gibson, out to Van Sickle. Van Sickle looking, sees a man open. No, takes it himself, off the glass. Trying to get the board. Van Sickle up over the back. That's three it's gonna on be Van on three Sickle. on Van Sickle. That's all right, though. You play your cards oh, out now. Yeah, that's it. We're in the fourth quarter. He has four. No, no he got three. He got three. Four fouls. That's four fouls on Van Sickle. I missed one someplace, Johnny. Not good. 43-52. Oh, and that's uh -oh. going to be against Tucker. That's his fourth. Yeah. Now, John, this can big time come into play here now. That's his fourth foul. No, 540 left in the fourth. Jerry Van Sickle's not going to be able to play soft. He's got to go all the way in this. Bearcats have a lead, but you're right. Now here's Virgil back into the ball game. Tucker going to sit down. He's got four on him. Van Sickle's got four. What are you going to do? Now they know it. Now if I'm Coach Worley, I'm taking. I'm calling a timeout. Or Majors, I'm calling a timeout. And I'm making sure my players know the situation. What do you think, John? Yeah, that, you're absolutely right, Jerry. There's Banks. You got to be careful here now. Kane. Oh, there's a three-point artist. But that's high in the sky. Gibson can't get it. Shot up. That cannot happen, Jerry. You Gibson had his hands yeah, on the his ball. Hands on it. You can't give up any offensive glass or defensive glass to Lansing Sexton. When you get on that board, you got to control it. Van Sickle. Now, call that. Sexton yeah. trying to pick things up just a little bit. That's Chris Beam into the ball game for. Oh, oh shot up. Oh, man. They're going to call goaltending on Van Sickle, but they should have called the trip. They should have called the trip on uh, Virgil. He should be at the line right now. Man, I'll tell you, it comes down as a turnover, John. Okay, got to be careful here. Got to be careful. Bearcats playing hard. Oh, right, here we go. Good play. This, unbelievable. Okay. Unbelievable. Good play, Van Sickle. He'll go to the line shooting, too. That foul will be against Sexton's Tyrone Davis. Jerry, this is this is a very physical basketball. Oh, game. you talked about playing oh. physical, I guess. You can hear everything out here. I'll tell you, it's a lot John, of bumping John, and grinding going John, on. This is anybody's ball game right now, I'm telling you. It's anybody's ball game because physical is going to be in here. Oh, man. 17 fouls now for Sexton. 16 fouls for the Bearcats. So everybody goes the line from here on in. But you got to make those free throws, John. You got to uh, make like them. Like Jimmy said, these are important free throws. They got it. Eight point lead. Okay, Wilson now is all over Banks behind the back. For a big guy, this guy's superb. He really is. Beam now into the game. Kane, the one number one red machine. The shot is up, and it goes. That's a good one by Washington. 53 to 48, now the Bearcat lead, cut to five, four and a half minutes to go in this one. The Bearcats have looked superb tonight no matter what happens. Dog it down the floor. The Sexton Big Reds showing now why they're number one, putting the pressure on. Virgil now. Big Red Machine gonna make them play. Oh, Gibson was pushed. Gibson was pushed. Unbelievable call that time, no call. Now, oh, there's a travel there. That wasn't called. Shot up, get position. Virgil, turn around, get rid of it. Man, I'll tell you, that's a foul. Is that a foul or what? Yeah, Jerry's talk, talking about Gibson. He, he was pushed from the back, went three feet across the lane. There was he, no tra call. he traveled down here. And the, and the no travel call, that's right, Jerry. Two, you know, bad, two, this, two bad calls. This is what happens unconsciously when you let a team back into a ball game. Somehow this just happens this way. Jerry, I don't think anybody let anybody back in a ball game. I think Lancey Sexton's playing like they are the number one team. They're giving Battle Creek Central all they can handle right now. And you got to give credit to the Big Reds. They haven't gave up. Battle Creek Central's played a tremendous ball game. But in the fourth quarter, they have stepped up their game. If they're going to lose this game, 
they're going to get beat. They are not going to give it without an effort. And Sexton's given Battle Creek Central everything they want. And I don't think that they've let them back in. I think they've pushed their way back in. Maybe physically, maybe uh, with their attitude, but Sexton is right there to play. The only down five, and Battle Creek Central has to take care of the ball and make smart, good shot opportunities. That's 10 to four in the fourth quarter in favor of Sexton. So they've outscored the Bearcats 10 points to four points. But I'll tell you, it's gonna be plays like that, John, that we saw Van Sickle now in there with four fouls. You gotta leave your team leader in there. There's no question about it. No, there's not enough time left now, Jerry. He's gotta be in the ball game. Four minutes, four minutes to this go in this game. Kane now all over Doggett. Bearcats got it, oh, come behind on the trap. Wilson, fake, puts up a three. No, Gibson, won't go. Gibson gotta get some hands. 53 to 48. Big play, big play, that's Banks now, picked up by Doggett, won't give him anything. Oh, good play by Virgil. Oh, he came from behind and Banks making his move. Oh, and I'm gonna call charging. He's out of the game, that's number five. Banks. And that was a bad call. Oh, excuse me, Jerry, that's only four fouls on, on uh, Van Sickle. Oh man, I, I'll tell I, you. I can't believe that call, unless I'm missing something. Van Sickle should be at the line right There's now. There's traveling right there. There's a three point shot, won't go. Comes out now to Wilson. No, Van Sickle gets it off the target. Get it to Gibson. Yes. All right. Woo. 55 to 48, just oh. over three minutes to go. Now they got to get another break. Davis all the way, off the glass, no good. And it's not tip in, that's goaltending. I can't believe it. Let's lay it on the rim for crying out loud. Look at this steal. Called a timeout on that play. Jerry, that was goaltending if I've ever seen in my life. The ball's halfway inside the cylinder. Ball's laying on, you cannot do that. Jimmy Hughes, what do you think? Hey, did... I think it was very close. Very close, <laughs> the ball was laying on the rim. Uh, that was a tough one to go either way. I have to trust the referees on that one. Uh, what I will say, though, is the referees Look, Jim. De definitely let them play here. Well, I'll and tell you, you one thing. Correct. That was a traveling call. I'm a homer here. here, buddy. I'll tell you that. That was a traveling call down here. They didn't call. That is true. Oh, Jimmy, man. Let, uh, hey, Jerry, you know what? Jim, when Dogger came down to the uh, to this court after that steal. Okay, okay guys. Look on the monitor here now. They're working on Anthony Wilson. Working on Anthony Wilson. I don't know what's wrong with you. Got Jerry, I just what? wanted to show you how Doggett on that last play down where Corey Gibson had the jam. Doggett could have came in there and laid it up. He passed it to Gibson to have Gibson cram that basketball to really pump this team up. Great, great decision on, uh, on Doggett's part to do that. Oh, what a ball game, 55 to 50. That's a great one here tonight. And I tell you, I hand it to the number one team in the state. They haven't given up. They're a tremendous ball club. But these Bearcats, our Battle Creek Central Bearcats, have played their hearts out tonight. What a ball club, what a ball game, whoever wins this one tonight. There's a shot, a turnaround, Noah pass, almost goes a rise, shot up by Banks off the back of the rim, comes down strong. Oh, and then Virgil had to take it right out of his hands. Oh, that's not good, John, back out to Kane. You gotta play with authority at this time of the night. I know they're tired, they're very tired. Very strong, too. Jones up off the glass. Up and good. Antoine Jones, six foot five. Now we're down to three point lead. 2.33 to go. Bearcats have to stay in control. Underneath now to Van Sickle. Looking for some help. Back out to Virgil. They were trying to open it up. Keep it wide now. Keep it wide. Man to man defense. Jones down over Van Sickle. They match up pretty good. Doggett got to watch the half court line. One, two, three, he's counting against him. Van Sickle, he'll hold it. Good, he'll good, hold it, good nobody job. come out on him, nobody come out on him, 2.04 to go. To Doggett, watch their half court line, Doggett playing a little tight. And that's pushed out of bounds by Kane. I tell you, Demetrius Van Sickle is a very aware player. He's at half court and he's watching the referee for that five second count. As long as he doesn't start it, he just stands there holding the ball knowing that we have the advantage with a three point lead. Very aware. We're back into action, back into action. And there's gonna be a foul. There's gotta be a foul on this one. 
important, Washington. Important free throws, Jerry. Well, man, I'll tell you right now, with 153 to go, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Well, you better be prepared. We got a couple minutes yet. But uh, Demetrius Virgil goes to the line, and this has always in the past been one of the tough things for Central. They shoot 60% as a team, and Virgil shoots just 52% from the line. Come on, Virgil, put it in. No, it won't go. Jones, skies high, Antoine Jones. Now it's in the hands of Banks. Down the floor, these Sexton, they're looking very, very calm, looking very good. Kane now whips it off to the left side to Washington, down, Banks puts one up, off the front of the rim, big tip up, got on the board, Blaze went up and it's good. Over Gibson, that's up by Washington. 55 to 54, Sexton rolling back a big trap, coming out on a steal, and it's all away. And how many times they're gonna be? Oh man, that's gonna be against the Bearcats. Don't call it against anybody else, you guys. There's 10 guys out there. Call to call it at any time. Anton Jones going to the line. 55 to 54. The Bearcats lead in jeopardy. Anthony Wilson into the game. 116 to go. Antoine Jones, a senior, taking charge here in this quarter. These guys have looked awesome in this quarter. Well, they certainly stepped it up quite a few notches, Jerry. They're getting too many offensive chances. They're, they're, they're controlling their own offensive glass. That's no good. Rip it off. Oh, he's high now, and he's being trapped. The Bearcats keep their lead. Dog it. 110 to go. And he's picked on. He holds on to it. Paul it. Back out to the top. Okay to Wilson. Back to Van Sickle. Uh oh, under a minute to go in this one. Van Sickle holds on to it. His court awareness. That's in the hands of Doggett. Yes. Gonna be a foul. Gonna be a foul. And that's gonna be against Ron Banks. Eric Doggett's gonna go to the line. He shoots 65%, one of the better free throw shooters on the team but he's never had a one and one that's more important than right now for the upset of the year for Battle Creek Central. These are huge, but Doggett stands at the line looking to make some Battle Creek Central history and to really do the job for the Bearcats. Nobody going home in this one, jam-packed crowd. Sexton on their feet, trying to throw him off. This one's no good, no good. Sky and high was Antoine Jones in the hand of the Lansing Sexton, Big Reds. No, forcing one down the floor. It's in the hands of Washington. Little turnaround by Jones. Can put it up, can put him ahead. Gets his own board up off the glass. Oh, what a tremendous play that was. 56 to 55, 32 seconds to go. Sexton has made it all the way back to the lead. And now Chuck Turner trying for a timeout. Shots up by Virgil. He hit it. He oh, hit it's it. a three. He hit it. Demetrius Virgil. Two point lead. Oh my gosh. Jones now down the floor. And the banks. Follow. What's it out? No. It's no good. Oh. Oh. Over. Doggett. Doggett has it. It's in the hands of Wilson. Three oh. seconds. Yeah, the Corey. Now it's like, oh, the Yeah. Gibson. Yeah. The Bearcats have won. The Bears are over. over. The Battle Creek set the Bearcats. Oh. Victorious out here tonight. We high five here tonight. Unbelievable play. 60 to 56. We'll be back here Friday night. Let's get a shot of that floor. Jerry, I'll tell you what. Demetrius Virgil and the three pointer coming down under 20 seconds. What an unbelievable shot. Unbelievable. That man has to have the shot of the year right there with that three-pointer. And it was nothing but net. He just missed a big free throw. But he put that three-pointer. Hey, oh. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Puts that three-pointer down. Good game. Good game. <laughs> All right, we're going to get Chuck Turner up here. No, well, we're not going to get Chuck up here. But the cheerleaders. Hey, Jerry, oh, my gosh. Let me mention something. Before Virgil hit that three-pointer, Chuck, Chuck Turner was trying to get a timeout call. Players didn't see it, the ball went up. 
Virgil hit the three-pointer, put the game on ice. Unbelievable finish for the Bearcats. And how about Corey oh, Gibson? Oh, my Lord. Oh, yeah. The pass from Doggett. <laughs> Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Look at three tire guys on this I'm monitor. I'm sweating, I'm, that's, that's unbelievable. This is just great, unbelievable. How much time do we have left? Uh, Jerry, I'll tell you what, one, one of the best basketball games I, I've seen in a long time, and, and it couldn't happen to a better team to come out on the winning end. As the There's Bearcats. a good shot, Gilkov, get a shot of this crowd leaving. Get a shot of this huge crowd. Down here in the corner. Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> well, that's all you can say. Hey, Jerry, Bearcats did it really, Jerry. They, they, they really kept their composure the entire game, especially down the stretch. They worked the glass very well offensively and defensively. And my guy, you know, Turner, he's got a good, he's got, he's got a good basketball team here, and he's a very good coach, Jerry. Oh, to, just to get through a ball game like this, uh, man, what a job he's done. Boy. Hey, Al, come on up a minute. Boy, I tell you, Jimmy. Hey, why did I go through and give some leading scores? I will say, I have not seen a pressure shot in Battle Creek in my memory that was bigger than the three-pointer that Demetrius Virgil just hit. Tremendous, tremendous play. Well, look, I got Albert Brasky here. Al, I saw you walking by. Thanks for coming up. This is a sport town. You have had an awful lot to do with it, Al. So I like your comments on this game. What looked like the Bearcats played one of the best ball games this city has ever seen. And what, uh, what's your, rem your remark? Well, it's probably one of the best high school get, get uh, events. Close, you, one of the best high school events you could ever see. Uh, just very exciting. Uh, I was very impressed with the way the uh, Battle Creek Central players play defense. I think that's what won the game for them. Well, Al, I'll tell you, I've never seen such a, a finer finish by anybody. And uh, Chuck Turner trying to get a timeout there. Demetrius, you know, <laughs> fires one up. And then, of course, Corey Gibson puts the exclamation mark. It was just a great game. I was very happy to see Chuck Turner win this game. He's, a, you know, he's lost a, lost a lot of these games just like this in uh, tournament play. So he had to come in and well deserved for the Bearcats and those players did a great job out there. And we might add what a great job you've done for the city of Battle Creek and keep up the good work, Al. Well, thank you. It's been a real pleasure and we got some more exciting things coming. Okay, Al Brabowski, uh, stop by. And uh, let's get back here to Jimmy Hughes for some stats, Jimmy. Well, Jerry, before I give you some stats, let me just give you a couple observations. Number one, Battle Creek Central never did wilt in this contest, and they had that lead coming down the stretch. They withstood one of the greatest efforts I've ever seen in a fourth quarter. I have to take my hat off to Mike Majors and the Lansing Section Big Reds. They have put so much pressure on the Bearcats to not wilt and to somehow hit the big three and the dunk at the end to win this game. It's an unbelievable thing. I thought that the Sexton Big Reds played tremendously. And uh, what a tremendous deal. We got another visitor coming up here in Bernie Lush. But I got to take my hand off. Mike Majors and the Sexton Big Reds, you know they switched that 1-3-1 one, one zone in the fourth, and it was tremendous and put tremendous pressure on the Bearcats in the fourth quarter. I'll tell you, to withstand that and to come out with a victory was a tremendous effort and a tremendous confidence builder for Battle Creek Central. Now they know they can beat number one. Sky's the limit. <laughs> hey, listen, there's a guy stopped by here. We may not be able to go out and cover his games, but this is a guy we love, Bernie Larson. Bernie, your comments on this ball game. What a, what a finish. I was sitting over with the officials from the other game, and when he took that three-pointer, we see Turner wants timeout, and he took the shot, and the official says, oh, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those, you know. Hey, and how about Gibson on the, the last slammer there? Oh, that, that was nothing. He, you know, he does it all the time. Well, what a great ball game this was, and the excitement in Battle Creek. You know, Battle Creek really be uh, entertainment center, not for just sports, but a lot of things, but uh, Bernie, you certainly had a lot to do with that, but a lot of good things happening at Penfield, too. Oh, yeah, we're very fortunate to uh, have the young young men and young ladies and the coaches that we have, and our program is going along very well right now. How's uh, Chuck Magnus doing? He's doing very well, yes. He's very pleased with the young men that he had this year. Uh, they came through and played much above and their, you know, what they thought they were going to play, and they came on and, you know, tied Papa, who's in the game tomorrow night for the championship for our KVA league title, go Papa. You know, for the KVA. Well, thanks, Bernie, for coming by here, buddy, and I'm sure we'll be seeing you with some games out there pretty soon. Thank you. Okay, Bernie Larson, athletic director with Penfield Panthers, and Jimmy, let's get down some some stats. I don't know what happened to Mr. Bauer, but uh, let's get down to some stats. <laughs> He's too excited. He's up talking <laughs> to the crowd. Uh, I tell you, in that fourth quarter, Battle Creek Central, believe this or not, withstood a rally that statistically 
saw Lansing Sexton take 17 shots to just five for Meadow Creek Central in the fourth quarter. They outshot them three times as much. That's like the Red Wings peppering the net but not getting the goal. That's what happened here tonight. Sexton peppered the net, but in the end, the goalie stood tall and it happened to be the Meadow Creek Central Bearcats. Unbelievable finish. Well, let's Let me give you some yeah. point totals here as we go down the line. Leading the Meadow Creek Central Bearcats tonight in a victory was, and who else, Demetrius Virgil. 17 points tonight. Also, Demetrius Van Sickle, the two Demetriuses, 18 points for him. 11 points tonight for Corey Gibson, and the exclamation point with that last dunk. With five points apiece, Anthony Wilson, and along with Norris Lindsay, who came off the bench to have five points. Those guys made a tremendous supporting role, and four points tonight for Mike Yarger. For the visiting Lansing Sexton Big Reds, they were led tonight by Ron Banks with 25 points, 19 in the first three quarters of play, just six in the fourth. 12 points from, from Faman Washington, who was tremendous in the fourth quarter. He had eight of those 12 on two three-pointers. He was big in the fourth. And 16 points tonight for Antoine Jones, who was a tremendous board warrior tonight with 16. Three points also for Tyrone Davis. Only four men scored, but they were big. They fell short, though, by four, 60 to 56, in what has to be one of the biggest victories in not just Battle Creek Central's history, but the city of Battle Creek, all of the area schools. This was as big as it gets, and we are proud and privileged to be able to cover another game come Friday. Johnny? Yeah, all I gotta say is great, great victory by Battle Creek Central and uh, the Bear Bearcat players and uh, Chuck Turner. They deserve to be here Friday night, uh, Jerry, no doubt about it. They deserve to be here. They played a superb basketball game. Well, let's talk a little bit about, about the team that we're playing. We don't know a lot about South Lion. We do know they beat uh, big, big Eight team and uh, Kalamazoo Central. Both of them had uh, mediocre records, really, through the season. Uh, about 500 ball, Jimmy, but that game was a good one. Went into overtime, 69-66 South Lion. So the Bearcats, the only thing they could suffer possibly is a letdown. Well, I'll tell you, Jerry, one of the things we learned, too, uh, between breaks was that the player that scored 25 points to lead South Lions tonight uh, for religious reasons does not play on Friday nights. He will be absent from their lineup. And that is going to be a tremendous loss. The man that led them here tonight in overtime and victory over Kalamazoo Central can't play because, uh, hey, give their young man credit. He's got some convictions that way. But nonetheless, it'll hurt that team, no doubt, against this Battle Creek Central juggernaut. And one thing about Battle Creek Central, they have to suffer somewhat of an emotional letdown, if not a physical letdown. They have to execute nicely Friday night so that they don't get a loss because it'd be very easy for them to rest on the laurels of this victory and count this as their big season achievement. Hey, they've got more ahead of them. They've got a state title at stake here. They can win now against anybody. If you beat the best, then you ought to be able to beat anyone. And I think they grew up by leaps and bounds here tonight. Just a tremendous performance. One that I, I don't know, some people might expect it. I know you were picking them, but uh, I really believe that they grew up in their own eyes tonight. I don't know if they knew they could beat a Lansing Sexton team tonight until they done it. Well, a 60 for Battle Creek Central and 56 for Lansing Sexton. It says so on the scoreboard, and right now they've got to be feeling very good about themselves, not only in this victory, but as a basketball team with a future. I think in this game, uh, John, uh, uh, I think it was fun watching both coaches, uh, Mike Major uh, for the Big Reds and, and Chuck Turner uh, playing this chess match back and forth tonight. It, it seemed the press worked very effectively. We never really did see uh, Sexton set up any kind of an offense until the middle of the second quarter uh, because when they did get down the floor, they they were able to penetrate and get down under, and they just slammed. They just yeah, went to the boards. They had the numbers when they, broke the, when they broke the press down, uh, Sexton did. But Chuck Turner adjusted to that, Jerry, and he, he did. He, did he, he coached a fine basketball game here. He inserted players uh, when needed and, uh, and got his big guys and uh, main men back on the court when needed. Just a super, super uh, job by, by Chuck Turner. Okay, well, we're going to wrap this one up here. It's all started 12 to 10. Lansing led after the first quarter. Bearcats bounced back 31 24 at half. They led 49 to 38 at the end of three. And uh, Sexton came rolling back, actually took the lead at one point in the fourth quarter. Bearcats not to be denied, though, out on top of this one by a score of 60 to 56 against the number one state ranked Lansing Sexton. So, congratulations to Chuck Turner. Nice job, Mike Major. Thanks for a great show. So come on back and see us. Uh, we'll be back Friday night, of course, and uh, we'll be watching South Lions. So Jerry Reese for John Bauer, Jimmy Hughes, and, of course, our director, Gil Culp, Diane Schumann, and um, Rustin and Shirley Higgs, Dave Jeremy Agney, and Cammie. Good night. Have a good evening.
Well, welcome back once again. It is the dynamic duel, and some people call us something else, but Jerry Reese, John Bauer, Jim Hughes, we're at the Kellogg Arena for the regional finals 1994, if you want to put this on the archives. It could be a good one for the archives because Battle Creek Central Bearcats, all the hype through their year, through 1993, 1994, watch out for these Bearcats. Well, they've come to life. They are Mr. Smooth. They showed some gutty action through the tournaments, all through the districts, and in a big, big game right here on Wednesday night, this same Battle Creek Central Bearcat Club took on and defeated the number one Lansing Sexton Big Reds. What a ball game it was. With that, we'll get right to John Bauer. John, let's recap that ball game on Wednesday night where these Bearcats really took control of that ball game right from the start. Started out with that huge press, created some big turnovers. A little rusty at first, John, but really it was their ball game. Really turned out well for the Battle Creek Central Bearcats, Jerry. And I'll tell you why they won that ball game, Jerry. Their press was very, very effective against uh, uh, Lansing Sexton. Sexton really never got a, a chance to set up in their uh, offensive mode. Uh, the things that Central did to win that ball game, which they must do tonight, is score within the paint 